Hello friends and welcome back to Stay Tonight. Uh, so I've been taking a full stack development course with a lot of students, and uh, during that course, when I was covering the JavaScript curriculum, I you know created a small number guessing game which uses some basic concepts, some basic features of JavaScript, and I thought you know let's create a YouTube video for that so that I can share that with you guys as well. So if you're learning JavaScript and you have learned about you know the loops in JavaScript, if else conditionals, you know how variables work. and you know how to take user input the basic user input through confirm prompt and alert uh, you know pop up boxes then you can use this particular video to you know understand how you can use all these things to create a simple number guessing game yes the code will be very simple and like i said you know we will be just using while loop and if else conditionals and some pop up boxes without any you know major ui component and without any major interaction with html and js So it's just purely JS based. So let's get started and let's see. So as you can see on the screen, I've already mentioned, you know, what will be the premise of the game that we will be creating. So I have a basic HTML page in which this JavaScript file has been included, and I will be writing most of the code in the JavaScript itself, and nothing will go into the HTML file because, like I said, you know, purely JavaScript based game. So it will be a number guessing game. The computer will automatically generate a number from one to ten. and the user will have to guess the number and the user gets three chances so a couple of things like i mentioned that we will be using are uh, you know some math functions uh, you know you must have learned about math functions there are different math functions like you know uh, random is there then seal and floor is there so we'll be using couple of them uh, you know to generate the random number for computer then we'll be using pop up boxes like confirm is there then we have prompt and alert to show you know different messages for our game so we won't be interacting with the dom here we will just be working with the pop up boxes and then you know basic logic uh, using while loop we will be uh, you know running the game again and again and using if else we will do the evaluations and come up with the solution if the user has guessed the correct number or the user missed and you know couldn't guess the right number and then we'll start over again so let's quickly start writing the code and see how it goes so i think you know To begin with, the first thing that we should do is ask the user whether the user wants to play the game or not. Right? Do you want to play the game? And this will show a con. You know, this will show a confirm box. So as soon as I so I'm running live server. As soon as I save this, I'll get a pop up box over here. So let's save. I see. Do you want to play the game? If I say okay, nothing happens because obviously you know we haven't done anything yet. so i'll create a variable to you know store this user consent and if the user gives us the consent if this is true then obviously you know we'll go move on if this is true then we'll do otherwise we show an alert box to the user okay maybe some other type So now what happens is if I save the code if I say do you want to play the game okay nothing happens but if I refresh it do you want to play the game if I say cancel it says okay maybe some other time so we have the basic structure ready uh this game is now set and you, we are asking the user whether you want to play the game or not and if the user says okay then we you know move on with the logic of the code which we haven't written yet so here will come the logic of the game and otherwise we show an alert box okay you know it's fine if you don't want to play the game that's totally fine so now once the user gives us a positive consent okay you know the user wants to play the game then what we do so then we will you know start the while loop so let's start with a basic while loop and let me give it a true value so true while true means that this will run endlessly yes it won't stop so we'll have to specifically use the break statement to get out of this the loop and also with while true what we are doing is we are giving the user infinite chances to play this game but that's fine you know so to begin with let's do is that you know computer number and we set it to 3 let's say you know let's specify it and let's fix it for now we'll you know obviously as we move on with the game code uh, we'll you know generate it randomly so the first thing when the game starts is we are setting up a number which is fixed for the computer number which the user has to guess the next thing should be the user should guess something right so let's create a variable user guessed is equal to we write a prompt please enter a number 
Now what will this do? This will create a prompt box and it will have a field and with a message to ask the user to please enter a number and the user can enter a number and it will be saved here. So what if I do this? So let's just see you know what the user is guessing. Right? And then we break out of the loop. So this is just to you know slowly move on with the logic of the code. If I say okay, it says please enter a number, I'd say two. Okay, it says two, okay, the loop ends. So now what we have is that, you know, we have the user's consent, whether the user wants to play the game or not. Then in the next, you know, if condition we, uh, when the user gives us the consent, we move on. We're running an infinite loop. We have a random number that, so not random, we have a fixed number that we have, you know, put in the computer number variable for now. And we'll be using this obviously, uh, you know, uh, we'll be generating this randomly, but for now it is fixed, that's okay. Then we are running an infinite loop while true because this is true so it will run all the time and we have we are specifically using break statement to break out and we have created another variable to store the input that the user provides so what we have to do is the condition would be if user guest is equal to is equal to computer guest computer number right if this happens we say poof you guessed the correct number right otherwise what we do is we say alert sorry wrong number right this is the code and uh, yeah i think this should be fine and we're putting in break over here because i don't want to run the loop over and over again uh, and i'll remove this or obviously you know once we're done with the code we'll remove this so let's try and running this particular now we have a basic logic over here so let me save this do you want to play the game okay enter the number let's see two okay it says sorry wrong number okay and the game ends now if i start it again okay i put in three because i know that the computer number is three it says who who you guess the correct number okay so now the basic game is ready but yes there are a couple of things the game is running infinitely so the if the user if i remove this break statement then the user gets all a lot of chances, infinite chances to, you know, sort of keep guessing the number, right? So as you can see, sorry, wrong number. Okay. Six wrong number. Okay. So I'll have to specifically stop this to sort of end this. Otherwise it will keep on running with an infinite loop, which is it is running. So let me just add a break and save so that we get a break. Oops, this is not stopping. So I'll have to do this with this. Go live. And I get this. So let me just remove that. Do you want to play the game? Okay. Five. Sorry, wrong number. And it stops. Right. So like I said, while true gives you an infinite loop. But we don't want an infinite loop. We want to give the user three chances. So how do we do this? We set up a counter and every time the user makes a guess, we increment it and we, are ch we will check the condition here. If the counter is greater than or equal to three, then we, you know, jump out of the loop and we say, okay, you know, you've exhausted all your chances. So how do we do that? We create a counter here. We create a counter over here and initialize it with zero, right? And I will put in the condition if counter is less than three, then keep the loop running. And if the user is guessing it right, then automatically, you know, we break. So we will put the break over here because if the user makes the correct guess, then obviously, you know, we have to jump out of the loop and the game ends. But if the user is not able to make the right guess, then what we do is we show an alert and I do this counter is equal to counter plus one. Now I'm using this. You can also use, you know, the shorthand version plus is equal to one right so this is also one and the same thing now the user should be getting three chances so let's see do you want to play the game okay i enter the wrong values intentionally six seven and i enter again eight sorry wrong number and it has ended so what we should be doing here is to make the game more intuitive what i can do is uh when the loop ends i can check if the counter value was equal to equal to three right because it will be three if the user makes three wrong guesses then obviously you know this value would be three because when this value becomes three then only the loop uh you know condition fails and the game will not enter the loop again so if this is three i say 
sorry only three guesses allowed all right so let's just run the game again okay six seven and eight and it says only three guesses allowed and the game ends right so now we can add a couple of things to this we can add a logic to restart the game maybe you know here we can say okay if you want to play again and then we restart the game all right so we can do this and we need okay so when i save this automatically refreshes live server but that's totally fine let's just ignore this let me just cancel it okay maybe some other time okay yeah and this particular you know the number that the computer is getting this should not be fixed to three this should be random number generated every time right so these are the two things that we need to do and i think that then the game code will be fine so we have a while loop that is running the game we are asking the user for a number we are checking basic evaluation we are comparing the number with the computer guest number and if it's fine we are showing an alert otherwise we are saying wrong number we are using the counter to manage that only the user gets only three conditions three chances to run the game to play the game and then yes so if you want to ask the user to restart the game what we can do is we can create a variable restart or not and we again uh, create a confirm box do you want to play again and the user will say yes or no based on that what we do is we use the if condition restart or not and in javascript you can use the location object and put in reload to you know reload the web page that so this page will get reloaded when this code is executed by javascript else we are going to show a message some alert okay maybe some other time right now this happens let's see that whether this is working or not okay i put in the wrong number again the wrong number and again the wrong number and it says sorry wrong number it says sorry only three guesses allowed okay do you want to play again okay and do you want to play the game so it restarts so we'll have to you know correct the messages a bit so we can say over here welcome to guess a number game click on ok to play all right so now the first message would be uh, three yes welcome to the guess a number a game click on ok to play so now i think most of things are set the only thing that we have to do is generate a random number so for that what we can do is we can use the math dot random function now this math dot random function generates a value which is in between 0 to 1 so when we run this we will get a value like 0 0.1 0 0.2 something 0 0.99 something right so this will generate a value from 0 to 1. So how do we use this to generate a random number? And I want a random number from 1 to 10. So what we can do is we can multiply this with 10. So then 1.1 becomes 1.2 becomes 2.99 becomes 9.99 something, right? And I use the math.seal function to get the ceiling. So if I get, for example, 9.99, this will be converted into 10. If the random function generates this value 0.89 something and multiplying it with 10 will give me 8.9 and if i use seal with this it will give me 9 so using this uh, you know using those these two functions seal and random and multiplying it with 10 we can get a random number between 1 to 10 similarly i can get a random number between 1 to 100 or 1 to 30 whatever so you just have to change with what number you are multiplying it so let me just quickly do this so if i do this And if I do this math dot seal, now the game logic is ready. And if I do OK, now if I put in 3, woohoo, you guessed the right number. OK. If I put in 3, sorry, wrong number, because 3 is no longer the number that computer guessed. It got changed. So now it will be difficult for us to win. Sorry, wrong number. 2, sorry, wrong number. Only 3 guesses. 7, wrong number, 
Now we don't know what the number is that the computer is guessing. That makes it difficult. Now if you want to see what is the number that the computer is guessing, you can use console.log over here to you know bring this number and see in the logs what is the computer what is the number that his computer is guessing so that was a simple you know guess a random number game using javascript and all we used was a couple of confirm uh, prompt and alert pop up boxes we used some functions with math and while loop and basic if else condition right so see how easy it is when you know how to you know write the logic and you start writing code in javascript it becomes super easy and you should definitely you know try out more of such games like you know there's rock paper scissors there are other you know different small small uh, logical games that you can try out with javascript without even getting into the hassle of you know creating a user interface with html and this is a very good way to practice javascript so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel press the bell icon i'll be posting more of such content uh, in the web development playlist that i have created if you like this video comment down below and you know please uh, you know, let me know that you like such videos. So I'll create more such videos around JavaScript. See you in the next video.